Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much as always for tuning in. I'm so happy you guys are here. Okay, so for this video, what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys how I take my makeup off at nighttime. Now, I used to suck at taking my makeup off. I mean, I was the worst person ever at doing that, at taking care of my skin. But in order to combat that, I've implemented a much simpler routine, a nighttime routine for me. So I actually keep up with it and I stay consistent with my skincare because I am so acne prone that going to bed with makeup on just one night, I will break out, especially around my mouth area or around my cheeks. Like it just is horrible. So I actually didn't wear any makeup all this week because here in Toronto, we're having such a harsh winter. It's about like minus 500, like every single day. It's been snowing like crazy and my skin just is suffering so much like this weather takes such a huge um toll on my skin it's a very very simple routine i don't like to incorporate a lot of steps because i don't want myself falling off track because skincare is so important and doing something every night is better than me trying to like conquer the world every night especially after long days of work or school or just like a busy day you want to come home and you want it to be quick you want it to be easy and that's what that's what I like the most. So first things first, I like to remove all my makeup and I use coconut oil. Coconut oil is amazing as a makeup remover. First, I love using oils to take my makeup off. It really disintegrates the product and like wipes off all your makeup and it provides a more thorough clean. And on top of that, coconut oil is antibacterial. It it's moisturizing, it's not so harsh on your skin. So what I do is I go into my mom's pantry and I steal her organic cooking coconut oil. So what I've done is I've taken her big jar of coconut oil that she gets from Costco. And what I've done is I've taken a little bit of this without telling her and I've scooped it out and I've put it in like a little container. But I wanted to show you guys the packaging here. We buy the big can because we're all like health freaks and all about that organic lifestyle in my house. So, so now the thing with coconut oil is that it goes really, really far. So you don't really need a lot to do the job for you. So I've literally taken, as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but I've taken very little, very little coconut oil. Make sure to not get the oil in your eyes like I do. Look at all that gunk I just took off my face. Ugh. The next thing that I do is I go in with the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Um, the First Aid Beauty is intended for people with sensitive skin and especially people with eczema. So they require products that are fragrance-free, paraben-free, that are hypoallergenic and non-comatogenic. It is actually one of the more like expensive or like, you know, Sephora brands that I started using for skincare when I was like in university. And I've been using it for ever since they started, ever since Sephora introduced them in their stores. It's just such an amazing line and it just works really, really well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use this to cleanse my face. And make sure to pat dry your face versus rubbing it. That's what irritates the skin. When I cleanse my face, I go in with a scrub. Now I use the Kane and Austin face and body retexturizing scrub. It has 10% glycolic acid and 0.5% salicylic acid. This helps to prevent any acne. It's not so harsh. It's just a really nice gentle scrub that does a really good job of taking away all the dead skin that I've built up, especially during these winter times. The skin on your face is so sensitive that you really need to be careful and be as gentle as possible. When you think you're not going harsh enough or you're not getting that deep clean, that's okay. You don't necessarily need to be like scrubbing away at it really, really hard to really get that texture. Especially if you have sensitive skin like me, you need to be a lot more gentler with your scrub and just circular motions on your cheeks. I like to go a little bit on my neck. And this is a trick that someone taught me and I think it works really, really well, um, is I take some of that scrub on my ring finger and I very gently scrub that very gently under my eyes. Oh my god, my skin feels so good. Now all of my makeup is cleansed and taken off. It just oh, feels so good. Especially at the end of a tiring day, like you just want all your makeup off and it's just like so good and you can like rub your eyes. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us feel that way. 
Next, I go in with the Facial Radiance Pads from First Aid Beauty. They are in place of my toner, and what they do is that they exfoliate and tone my face. Now, toning is so important because you need to maintain the pH balance of your skin. I can do an in-depth, knowledgeable video explaining what pH balance is, so comment below and let me know if that's what you would like to see next. Um, and honestly, like my skin like fluctuates a lot when it's in its pH balance, so these have really helped me to maintain that, and they really help with like taking off any extra gunk that you might have left over from your makeup, and also to help brighten your face. And make sure to go all the way down your neck, now that my face is cleansed and toned, I go in and I just apply my nighttime products. So first things first, I go ahead and apply a serum. I use the Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. So I literally just take one pump. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to moisturize under my eyes. I use the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. Now, as a winter nighttime moisturizer, I actually like to use coconut oil again to moisturize my skin. Coconut oil is, again, so amazing for your skin. I use an organic coconut oil. It does such a good job at hydrating my skin and really helping to like alleviate all that dryness and scaliness that I have in my skin. Um, mind you, I did not even wear makeup all week long. Today was the first time that I wore it and my skin is already kind of like feeling the effects. Like it's like dull today. It's burning as I put my products on, like my skincare products. It's just, it's, I'm going crazy. But again, with coconut oil, um, it really helps to soothe and moisturize and um, it's actually a great product recommended for patients or people with eczema So when you have dry skin, especially in winter, it's good to go ahead and use natural products like that So again going into like my handy little container I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that oil just very very little because I am acne prone I don't want to be using a lot of heavy oil based products that are gonna clog up my pores So taking just very little warming it up in my hand to melt the coconut oil and pressing it into my skin. Okay, so the last product that I use is a sleeping mask. And I was introduced to this sleeping mask. It is from the body shop called the Vitamin E Skin and Moisture Sleeping Mask. This thing is heavenly. I use a mask or a sleeping mask every time that I would exfoliate my skin because I want that mask to penetrate deeper into my skin because I've taken off all the dead skin. Now, you take a pretty generous amount of this product. Vitamin E is great for sensitive skin. It helps to repair and soothe. So there's a lot of benefits in using a vitamin E based product. And this is it. Like This is what I do every single night. I feel it is the easiest thing for me to do. Very, very simple. Um, cleanse, tone, exfoliate, put a serum on, put a moisturizer on, and the mask and the exfoliate, I don't even do every night because you shouldn't be exfoliating your skin every day, maximum two to three times a week. Um, you have to be consistent, you have to take care of your skin because you will start to look tired and your skin will start to look dull and not as bright and then you're gonna have to use more and more products and then you're gonna get frustrated and then you're gonna give up and it's just gonna be this vicious cycle over and over again. So in my opinion, this always works for me. Simpler the process, the simpler the steps, the fewer the steps, the more um, susceptible you are to incorporating and implementing that process into your daily routine. And that's exactly what you need to do. You need to find products that are gonna work for you. You need to find steps and things that are gonna work for you that are gonna be easy for you to adapt to versus like, trying to do like so much all at once and trying to maintain a good uh, base. And that is it. I know I've talked a lot during this video. Skincare is actually so close to my heart. It's something that, you know, all of us need to pay like so much more attention to in order for your makeup to look good, in order for you to feel good about yourself. Like it's very, very important that you take care of your skin. And I hope you found this video informational and helpful. Um, so, I will see you next time. I'm so tired. I'm going to go to bed. But thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Please stay warm. <laughs>